What? They're renaming Heinz Field. Can anything stay the same for like, I don't know, five minutes? What are you gonna call it? Acker, 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 what? Acker, Acker, Well, that just rolls right the hell off the tongue, don't it? Oh, Acrisure. Ain't that Acrisure that Jamie Lee Curtis yogurt for the women that can't poop? Every company buying the naming rights to everything. I swear, if you built the city of Pittsburgh today, it'd be called the, uh, the UPMC Living Complex. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day out there. Let's get out and soak up them rays at a PNC floating ball light. You ain't allowed to call it air no more. You gotta say Westinghouse Lung Food. You wanna know whose fault this is? I'll give you a hint. It starts with a K and ends with a Kenny Chesney. The moment they start letting that guy play down Heinz, there's been nothing but garbage down there. You know, from now on, only one Kenny's allowed to play down there, and it ain't Chesney, it's Pickett's. I'm setting a Kenny quota. I will make an exception for Loggins and Rogers Roasters. What is Acrisure any highs? A brokerage firm. Boring. Now when the Steelers get in the red zone, instead of seeing the ketchup bottles drop, it'll be my 401k. And Acrisure is a Michigan company. I tell you right now, we already got Jerome Bettis out there. We don't need nothing else from them people. Michigan, that weird oven mitt looking state. Split in two parts like it's like it's a season on Netflix. Wikipedia says they're from Grand Rapids. This is Pittsburgh. We don't like our Rapids Grand. We like them raging. You can call Heinz Field whatever you want. Because I Acris sure as hell ain't calling it that. Pittsburghers don't do name changes. Tell me to call Mac machines ATMs because, oh, that's what they're really called. <laughs> nope. Do you know anybody that calls the Steel Phantom the Phantom's Revenge? No. First off, you take the steel out of something, you compromise the integrity. That's science. Second, the new name don't even make no sense. What the hell is it revenging? Itself? Damn me for being such a fun ride. I will have my vengeance on me. You want your advertising dollars to go far? You name a building in Pittsburgh when it first opens. Then, you just let that contract expire, but Pittsburghers will still call it that for like a thousand years. Kinko's ain't been around in 15 years, but every time Uncle Rick needs to use a fax machine to send in his fake workers' comp papers, what's he say? Can I get a ride down Kinko's? Can't the world stay exactly the same? All you gotta do is look at the template for 1987 and do that. Maybe we let a little 1989 squeak in there says we get Michael Keaton's Batman, but that's it. Here's an idea. How's about instead of just selling absolutely everything, we, we just name it something nice. You know, like uh, the Steel City Stadium, Palomalu Park, or the Baker Mayfield Burial Ground. Nope, they just gotta slap a corporate logo on everything. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis. I gotta feed my family too.